Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. As you can tell, I'm in another kitchen and well basically we're remodeling and we're moving and the whole process has been long and it's still not over. But anyway, today we're going to be making a very delicious and tasty garbanzo bean soup or stew. It's very popular in Andalusia. This is a winter soup because it's hot and we're also going to be using a few regional or famous ingredients from Spain as well, which I'll explain a little later on. And if you're interested in any more delicious recipes or more specifically Spanish cuisine, then be sure to check out the rest of my videos and recipes that I have up on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well for more content. So let's get started with this delicious garbanzo bean stew. So for all the ingredients that we're gonna be using today, this is not a vegetarian soup, but if you want to make a vegetarian, it's super easy. Omit the chorizo and don't put any uh, chicken stock in and it's vegetarian. The one thing that I love about soups is that they can be very filling and the recipes for them are flexible as well. They're very easy. These are beginner type recipes. So to talk about the ingredients or the regional ingredients, one, we're going to be using chorizo. Now chorizo sausage, if you do or do not know about it, is from Spain. It's a Spanish sausage. It's one of multiple sausages that they have here. And the thing is, it's not just one type. You have raw, you have cooked, or you have cured. You also have spicy, you have mild. The one that we're using today is more mild. So we'll have to adjust the flavors in the soup because if it's spicy and you add this to the soup, it's going to adjust, the, it's going to affect the flavor and you may not want to add say as much pepper or as much paprika because that is spicy as well. So you always have to taste and know the ingredients when you cook. And for the second ingredient that you may not know about, we're gonna be using saffron. Now saffron is a spice that we have been using for thousands of years, but it's extremely difficult to cultivate or more specifically, it's difficult because you have to pick. The little part is basically the center of the flower called the stigma, the little red pieces that you see. You have to pick from the flower and you have to pick a lot of these and then they dry them. So when you have actually buy this by weight per ounce or per gram, is quite expensive and you can tell why. I can leave a link down below if you actually want to see the process of them doing it. But in other words, it's very expensive. However, it's a very nice spice to use. One, it has a lot of flavor to it. And two, it will add color to your dish. It'll start to add a little pigmentation. So this will go well with the soup because one, we want to add more flavor. Now before we start, get a damp cloth, put that down on the counter, and then put your cutting board on top of it so it doesn't move. Safety is always very important when we're working in the kitchen. So first I'm going to start cutting the onions, the peppers, and the garlic. The onions I'm going to cut more or less the same size as the garbanzo beans or the chickpeas, so everything is more or less the same size. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bell peppers, the green and red bell peppers. Now, one, when you're cutting the bell peppers, if you want, you can take off the membrane that's on the inside of each pepper. It's totally optional. If not, it doesn't really matter because this is a more family type soup and it takes more time when you're doing this. After you have all that cut, then I'm going to take a little bit of garlic. I'm going to crush it with my knife and then either you can slice it or mince it like I'm doing in the video. If you're gonna mince, just go through it again and again and again with a knife. Always watch your fingers so you don't cut yourself. And then I'm going to peel my potatoes. Now, one quick tip with the potatoes, either peel them in the sink or peel them with a bowl or something underneath them to catch all the skin after you peel it. It makes life a lot easier, you know? After you have it peeled, I'm going to then cut off one side of the potato so it doesn't roll on me on the cutting board and then I'm going to start slicing it in more or less one centimeter size slices to try to be more or less the same size as the garbanzo beans. Then I'm going to take these pieces again, stack them, cut them again one centimeter more or less into small batons or small little sticks and then you turn them again, cut them again and then you have small diced potatoes. Perfect for soups and stews. First, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the pan and I'm going to add the chorizo sausages in whole first. I'm going to cook them. 
and you can tell after several minutes that they are starting to release their juices or release the fat and this is what we want because this will add more flavor to the soup. After the sausages have cooked more or less 100%, you're going to take them out, remove them, and then I'm going to add all the vegetables in on medium heat. Saute the vegetables as well as the garlic. You can add a little bit of salt. You can also add some thyme as well. If you have fresh, it's even better because it'll add more flavor. If it's dried, you're gonna have to add more because the dried herbs don't have as much flavor as fresh. Now, while this is cooking, I'm going to open a can of garbanzo beans. I'm using already pre-cooked canned garbanzo beans. It's a lot faster, and if you're using canned, it's a good idea to rinse them. You don't want this residue in the soup. If you're not using canned and you're using fresh or dried, um, soak them overnight, and then you're gonna have to boil them a lot longer than what we're gonna have to do today. So just keep this in mind, it's all about time. If you want it quick, use the canned if you don't mind and you want to go the other route, then just soak them the day ahead. Now once the onions become translucent, once they're cooked and the peppers are cooked as well, as you can tell, they start to change color, then I'm going to make some space and I'm going to add the potatoes in. Cook the potatoes or fry them for about two minutes, more or less. You want to move them occasionally just so they don't burn and so nothing burns in the pan. Then I'm going to add the chicken stock, or if you want to make this vegetarian, add the water as well, and also omit the chorizo. And then I'm going to add the pimienton or the paprika. If you need to add any more spices, now is the time to add them. And at this point, I'm also going to add a bit of saffron in. Not too much saffron because the thing is, is that a little bit of saffron will go a very long way. So. Add all the ingredients in, taste it again to see if it's to your liking or if it needs more salt. I'm going to bring this back up to a boil and I'm also going to add the garbanzo beans in. I'm then going to add the chorizo sausage back in. I'm going to put a lid on it and I'm going to let this simmer until the potatoes are done. So after about 15, 10 to 15 minutes, check them and they'll be done when either you take a toothpick or a knife and it'll go straight through them. This is when you know that it's ready. Um, once it is done though, I'm going to remove the chorizo sausage and let that cool. While that's cooling, I'm going to take a little bit of fresh parsley and I'm going to slice it, chiffonade. I'm going to add this to the soup. Then once the sausage is cooled, I'm going to cut that on the bias and then I'm going to plate. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this delicious garbanzo bean stew. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. And if you're interested, like I said, in any more recipes, Spanish cuisine or international, then I have plenty of recipes on my channel as well. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.